Hello everyone, and welcome back to another installment in our Character Spotlight series. Continuing in fashion to the last few videos, we are moving right along with the characters that were introduced in the newest edition of the DLC, and that is none other than Johnny Storm or Human Torch. Now, real quick before we jump in, just as a reminder as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The subscription is free and easy, and I bring content from a variety of different games to you on a daily basis. So make sure that you hit that button, and don't forget to like and leave a comment if you are enjoying these types of videos as well, as that greatly helps me out. Now, Johnny Storm is one of the, again, characters that's been around for a long time, introduced with the rest of the members of the Fantastic Four in November of 1961 with the debut of Fantastic Four number one. And he is all about fire. There's a lot of fire-related things that he can do, which of course is partially pyrokinesis. He can also transform into this fiery form, which is showcased here, that serves as a damage shield as well as enables flight. He can also absorb energy from heat and has resistance to extreme heat. So that's something that is really uh, quite fun. He also has an ongoing prank feud with his buddy and fellow Fantastic Four member, The Thing. And that is uh, quite interesting and showcases in some of the story quest dialogue that you have with the quest that was introduced with the introduction of these characters from this DLC. Now in terms of the attacks that Human Torch has access to, the first one is similar in style to what we've seen with a couple of other characters. This one's called Flash Forward, where he advances while blasting the area in front of him with fire, and you can hold the button to adjust and kind of power up the timing on this attack. His second attack is the fireball, where he will throw a massive fireball on the ground, which then explodes. So it's got a, an area of effect type attack, which is quite useful for burning down a large uh, or larger areas and groups of smaller grunt type enemies. The third attack which he has is the controlled burn. And the controlled burn is really useful, in my opinion. It works similar to Gambit's Dangerous Ground, where he will spin at high speed while on fire and ignite his surroundings. This area does remain active for a little bit as to provide some more damage output. So I find myself using this one a lot, and I actually use it in tandem with his fourth and final ability, which is Rising Heat, where he will strike the ground from above and attack his surroundings with a shockwave. So it really kind of amplifies the area of effect type attacks that you can get when used in tandem with the controlled burn. Now, the team synergy that we have set up is the same as the rest. We have the full-on Fantastic Four grouping going on here, which provides a large amount of physical resistance. Unlocking these characters is very simple. You get them all at the exact same time. If you want more details on that, make sure you check out the Mr. Fantastic video that we did last week, as that breaks down exactly how you can go about acquiring all of these heroes all in one fell swoop. But let's jump right into the Infinity Rift and showcase what his game style looks like. All right, so as a part of this showcase, we will want to first highlight that Human Torch has, instead of a double jump, a flight capacity, which makes sense as that is a part of his canonical things that you are aware that he can do. Now, his standard attacks, unfortunately, do not have any stagger effect on the opponents until he gets to his last one. Uh, so you will need to try and keep your distance as best you can when using your standard attacks. His heavy attack, on the other hand, is unique in its class, where you can continuously dole out attack damage to enemies in the nearby area, provided that you don't start taking drastic hits. This does have a stagger effect to it, and you can not only manipulate where you are going as you use it, but until you take a hit or get knocked down, there's virtually no limit to how well and how frequently you can use this. Now. His last thing that we need to highlight is his aerial attack, which he drops down onto the ground 
and kind of slams in a circular area around him. So let's jump into his actual attacks now. We first have the flash forward where he builds up some momentum and some power and then dashes in a straight line uh, across the enemies that are in his path, which deals a pretty substantial amount of damage. It's one of his, uh, in my personal use, it's one of the moves that I've kind of underestimated with dealing some damage, but it's quite useful. The second attack, being Fireball, will create a rather large area of explosion and deal a very nice amount of damage to grunts and mighty enemies alike. Now, the third ability, which is one of my favorites to use due to the animation, is the Controlled Burn. That was not it. The Controlled Burn, where he sweeps out in a circle area and will deal damage to the opponents on startup, as well as dealing damage consistently as long as this area of effect remains active. And I like to use that in tandem with his fourth ability, which is Rising Heat, where he will swoop upwards and immediately dive back down on top of the opponents in the area to create a crashing effect. Now, his extreme attack is kind of unique, as you do have to try and centralize yourself, but it will draw in opponents from different areas. So he does his pattern for design and then goes around in a circle and slowly draws the opponents in in a flaming tornado, which is really a lot of fun to use. But again, I find myself using a pretty consistent combo of the controlled burn and the rising heat, and it may be in your best interest to flash forward after the use of both of those attacks while a lot of your opponents are still recovering from the rising heat knockdown. But Johnny Blaze, Human Torch, ton, or not Johnny Blaze, Johnny Blaze is Ghost Rider. Johnny Storm is a ton of fun to use, and I really, really like using him. He adds a lot of damage output and really a lot to your team dynamic as well, as he's pretty versatile and I've been having a lot of fun using him on my team specifically. So that's going to do it for today's video, and we are just about done with the Fantastic Four characters. We'll be doing our final member of the Fantastic Four, The Thing, on Monday. Now, there are still two extra characters that we need to showcase, and the, they will be the following Friday, so a week from today, and the subsequent Monday afterwards. And I think you're really going to enjoy the latter of those two because he's a little bit more difficult to find, but is a complete and total powerhouse, <laughs> especially uh, just initially off of unlocking him. He's, he's quite a cool character. So make sure you're subscribed. Again, if you haven't already, daily videos coming your way. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed today's content. So we'll go ahead and leave you with that. So thanks again for watching, and you have yourself a fantastic rest of your day.